Hey guys, it's Sophie, and today on Earth Code Red, we're going to be talking about an invasive species, the lionfish. The lionfish invasion is one of the worst man-made ecological disasters ever witnessed. Now, lionfish are meant to be found in coral reefs in the tropical waters of the South Pacific and Indian Ocean, but they're not meant to be found in the Western North Atlantic regions. Now, it was only in the 1980s that people started to realise lionfish populations off the coast of Florida, but their population has been dramatically growing ever since. These animals have always been very popular pets because they are stunning to look at and were once very exotic off the coasts of Florida, so it's very likely that someone had one as a pet and either accidentally or deliberately released it into the wild. In these Florida waters, they don't seem to have any natural predators and eat their way through so many different fish species. They have a row of venomous spines along their back and pectoral fins, which means that many animals can't eat them. And because there is nothing natural to keep them in check, their population has grown rapidly and will continue to do so until we do something. They also do a fantastic job, uh, especially their eggs at traveling a great distance. And now these lionfish are posing a threat to the Atlantic, the Gulf of Mexico, and even the Caribbean. You can really see the detrimental impact that these lionfish are having on coastal and coral reef systems around this area uh, because snappers and groupers that would usually feed on the small fish that the lionfish are now feeding on are disappearing and obviously if you lose one species in that food chain then the whole food chain will collapse which is exactly what is happening. Now it's really hard to know what the future is for invasive lionfish uh, in these areas that I've mentioned, um, but there are different organisations and charities such as NOAA Fisheries which are doing their best to control the populations of lionfish as best as possible. Also remember that if you do purchase these animals for your own aquariums to never release them into the wild. There are places in aquariums that will take on the fish that you don't want anymore and either look after them and give them a second life or find a way to humanely cull them to stop the issue from spreading. So let's hope that the work that these organisations are doing uh, really has a positive impact in the future and that we can stop the spread of invasive lionfish.